slow. We talked about this too. Um, and I think we've got more on that too. Uh, one of the things about the high norepinephrine, look down there, anxiety, heart palpitations, sweating, those are also signs of blood sugar issues. Um, but it's that adrenaline that gets pumped, you know, you're just uh, high epinephrine, high norepinephrine. Those are super stimulating. Um, and that's where, you know, the caffeine and the alcohol can really do some damage. We definitely want to do some adaptogens for that. And when it says on there, uh, they don't get the specifics, but uh, ashwagandha is really popular. Rhodiola, super popular um, and, and, and very effective as well. Uh, licorice root can be very helpful. Um, there's lots of different uh, adaptogens that you can do, but phosphatidylserine is great. One of the things that phosphatidylserine does, so if you're getting a stimulation of your brain is stimulating your adrenal medulla and that's where the epinephrine comes from right if your brain is stimulating the center part of your adrenal gland that sits on top of your kidney and is pumping out adrenaline the phosphatidylserine actually kind of just blunts that effect and helps calm down that cycle uh slow add adhd anxiety mania insomnia addiction excessive energy so again slow enzyme multiple or, or more transmitter than necessary. And we've got that excitatory, okay? Uh, and headaches with chocolate or alcohol. So if it's slow, you've got more transmitter, right? So say you've got that dopamine there and you try to push it with the chocolate, gives you a headache. 